I'm Alessandra with Revsilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Climb Artemis jacket and pants available at Revsilla.com. So the Climb Artemis jacket and pants for ladies is a long-awaited option from Climb. Now, if you're not familiar with Climb, Climb is known for their ADV gear, and they're known for really awesome bomb-proof materials that are really designed to go the distance. And this jacket and pants combo is no exception. Not only is it the top-of-the-line option from Climb, it's also right now the top-of-the-line option from any manufacturer. There are a lot of jackets and pants on the market that are designed for sport touring, but this is the only one that's really designed for ADV riders. Now, you'll be able to tell that not only in the fit of the jacket, but also with all of the features that it has going on. And what's really notable about it is that it was designed by female designers. And that's something that people have been asking for for a long time from Climb, and we're really stoked to see them listen to that feedback. So before we get into the jacket itself, a quick note on sizing. Helen is to my left. She is 5'6", 135 pounds, with a 36-inch chest, and a 30 inch waist. She's in a size medium, and that's pretty spot on according to the size chart. Now, if you're concerned about fit, don't forget, orders over $39 ship for free. And as always, if you wanna know what other women's gear is available at Revsola, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's get into the jacket itself. So the main construction of this jacket is gonna have a few different materials going on, but for the most part, it's a really lightweight fabric that has really beefy fabric in the impact areas. So you're going to get 500D Cordura fabric in the impact areas, as well as a carbonite ripstop overlay, and that's gonna be really beefy. You're also going to get a two-layer Gore-Tex performance shell, and what does that mean? It means that it's waterproof, but they didn't skip on ventilation with this jacket. You're gonna have waterproof pockets in case you're in the rain, but you're gonna be able to just go ahead and open those up and get a lot of ventilation. On the front alone, there are six vents, as well as collar stays to keep your jacket open. So Helen, if you lean in a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, so you just go ahead and take this loop here and you're just gonna go ahead and loop it on. And then your jacket stays open. You can do it on the other side as well and you'll get a lot more ventilation that way. Let me go ahead and close it though. All right. So you're gonna see these two high-vis waterproof vents at the front. These also double as pockets, which is really convenient. And then you're gonna have these two zippers here on either sides, right under the bust. So not only is it nice to get a little bit more airflow under the bust, but they're also really convenient, right? And they're gonna vent up into the armpit. I like that personally because on my touring jacket that I have right now, I have a large pit zip. And it's really just a nuisance to get open and close. It's designed to be easy, but it's not. I usually have to pull over and go ahead and open that and close that. Now, on the rest of the front of the jacket, you're also gonna get two hand warmer pockets as well, and a good amount of high vis. So let's look at the shoulder and make our way down. So at the shoulder here, you're gonna have D3O level one shoulder protectors. You're also gonna get those in the elbows, as well as in the back protector, and the hips, and the knees in the pants, and that's really nice. It's something that I love seeing from manufacturers when they include all the armor right out of the box. That means that you can get this jacket and just go. Now, if we go down the rest of the arm here, I'm just gonna pull your arm up here, um, you're gonna have that vent that I discussed earlier that has a waterproof zipper, but vents directly to your body, and this adjuster here is gonna go ahead and keep that open, which is nice. If we go down further, there's another adjuster, and then on the outside, you have an additional vent. Again, covered by a waterproof zipper, which is pretty awesome. Now, on the other side, Helen will also show you here, you have a medical pouch. What's cool about this medical pouch is that there's a stash pocket in the medical pouch. And behind your back protector pocket, there's also another stash pocket in there. Why do you need so many stash pockets? Well, when you're traveling, it's nice to have a secure place to put your travel documents, especially when you're crossing borders. Now, Helen, go ahead and turn to the side for me, please. So at the side, you're also gonna have these gussets here. And this is really gonna give you a little bit more range of motion, more mobility, no matter what position that your arms are in. Along the waist, you're gonna have a waist adjuster here. Now, having a waist adjuster on a women's jacket is awesome. It not only tailors the fit, but on this jacket in particular, it's important because you need a little bit more adjustability. And you need that because you're gonna pair this with different layers. 
Climb does not include liners with their jackets. They're really designed for you to be able to tailor it to your climate or to your personal temperature. So whether you're going somewhere hot and you need to wear base layers or you're going somewhere cold and you need mid layers, being able to adjust that is going to be important. What we also like is this gusset here at the end. The more layers you have, especially underneath your pants, the more you're gonna wanna open that up. Helen, go ahead and turn to the back for me, please. So at the back of the jacket, you are going to have two exhaust vents. Um, they're a little hard to see here, but you can go ahead and just reach around the back if you have the jacket on and open those up and they're gonna vent directly to your body. You have that nice D3O back protector underneath, a little bit of high vis and a nice rabbit pouch. Now the rabbit pouch is not waterproof, um, which is something that we'd love to see maybe in a future iteration of this jacket, but you do have waterproof pockets on the inside of the jacket, which is nice. Go ahead and turn to the front for me. All right, so Helen's gonna open up the jacket. Again, no liners, climb lights to keep it really simple, but you're gonna have a mesh inside with some waterproof pockets, and you're also going to have a waist connection zipper. So those are gonna connect to the pants. The pants fall in line with the same materials, but they also have D3O armor in the hips and knees that I mentioned. What's nice about the knees is that they're adjustable. There are three different um, positions that you can adjust those in, which is nice if you're short like me, you might need them in a different position than someone else who's a little bit taller. So all in all, a really solid option from Climb. I love that they have female designers making gear for women to ride. I love that we finally have something that is really a top-notch option in the ADB category as well. Now, if you wanna see what other women who ride have to say about the Artemis jacket and pants, click the info button on our desktop or mobile device and see what they're saying in the reviews at RevSolo.com. If you want to speak to one of our lady gear geeks, give us a call at 877-792-9455 or shoot us an email at cs at .com. Thanks for taking a look at the Climb Artemis women's jacket and pants. I'm Alessandra. I'll see you on the road.